uh, get ready to be mesmerized by Gypsy, a musical that pulls back the curtain on the glamorous facade of Broadway, revealing the grit, sacrifice, and unwavering love that fuels a stage mother's relentless pursuit of stardom for her daughters. Gypsy is a musical with music and lyrics by Julie Stein and Stephen Sondheim, with a book by Arthur Lawrence. Uh, it is loosely based on the 1957 memoirs of striptease artist Gypsy Rose Lee, and focuses on her mother Rose, whose name has become synonymous with the ultimate show business mother. Following the dreams and efforts of Rose to raise two daughters to perform on stage, the show casts uh, an affectionate eye on the hardships of show business life. Now, Gypsy has been referred to as one of the greatest American musicals by numerous critics and writers, and is frequently considered one of the crowning achievements of the mid-20th century's conventional musical theater art form, often referred as the book musical. Now, producer David Merrick uh, had read a chapter of Lee's memoirs in Harper's Magazine and approached Lee to obtain the rights. In May of 1959, the musical would open its doors at the Broadway Theater, then transferring to the Imperial Theater with a combined run of 702 performances. The production would star Ethel Merman, Jack Klugman, and Sandra Church. Now, although the original production was nominated for eight Tony nominations, including Best Musical, it failed to win any. However, the original Broadway cast recording would win the Grammy Award for Best Original Cast Album. Two national touring companies would tour the U.S. starting in March of 1961 at the Rochester, New York Auditorium, starring Mitzi Green, and the second in September of that year playing at the Schubert Theater in Detroit, starring a young Bernadette Peters, who would later go on to play Rose in a later revival on Broadway. Now, in 1962, Warner Brothers would release a film adaptation starring Natalie Wood and Razan Russell, with Russell winning the Golden Globe for her portrayal of Rose. In 1973, it was announced that Elaine Stritch would be starring in the first Western production of the show. However, when ticket sales proved to be unsuccessful, producers hired the more familiar Angela Lansbury to take over as Rose. Uh, the Western production would open at the Piccadilly Theater in May of that year for a little over 300 performances. Now, the musical was revived on Broadway in 1974 at the Winter Garden Theater for a limited engagement of 120 performances. Uh, this production would star Angela Lansbury, reprising her role as Rose, Bonnie Langford, uh, Zan Charisse, Maureen Moore, and Grey Garden star Mary Louise Wilson as Tessie Tura. A second Broadway revival would open at the St. James Theater in November of 1989, uh, then transferring to the Marquee Theater in April of 1991, starring Tyne Daly, Jonathan Hadry, and Krista Moore. Gypsy was adapted into a television movie in 1993 starring Bette Midler. Uh, this production was a rare example of a film or TV project in which some of the songs are sung live and not lip synced to a pre-recorded track. Now, in May of 2003, uh, the musical would see a third Broadway revival, starring Bernadette Peters now in the title role of Rose. Uh, the New York Times described Peters as a surefire box office draw who nonetheless may surprise some gypsy aficionados. How will the lady like Miss Peters fit into the role of Rose? In a 2004 interview, Arthur Lawrence said that Peters' portrayal of Rose was brilliant, original, totally unlike any of the others. In 2003, Gypsy would set new box office records twice for the Schubert Theater. Uh, a gross of over 853000 was the highest ever gross for a non-holiday week in the beginning of June of that year, with a box office gross of over 874000 near the end of the same month, representing the highest gross for a show in Schubert history. Now, it wasn't until 2008 that Broadway would see a fourth revival, starring another Broadway icon, Patti Lapone. The production opened at the St. James Theatre in March, uh, with Ben Brantley of the New York Times saying, You see everyone's starved for attention in Gypsy. That craving, after all, is the motor that keeps showbiz puttering along. And Mr. Lawrence makes sure that we sense that hunger in everyone. I was so caught up in the emotional wrestling matches between the characters and within themselves, that I didn't really think about the songs as songs. There is no separation at all between song and character, which is what happens in those uncommon moments when musicals reach upward to achieve their idle, ideal reasons to be. 
In 2015, the West End's first revival would star Harry Potter's Amelda Staunton in the title role of Rose, opening at the Savoy Theatre for a limited run through November of that year. The London production was nominated for eight Olivier Awards, winning four, including Best Actress in a Musical, going to Staunton, and Best Musical Revival, the most awards won by a single production in that year. The production was also filmed and broadcast on PBS's Great Performances in the United States in 2016. Gypsy continues to uh, offer a timeless message about love, sacrifice, and the bittersweet realities of pursuing a dream. It is a musical that reminds us that the greatest applause comes from within when we choose compassion over control. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you enjoyed this, please comment on what you liked or disliked. I'd love to hear from you. And if you want to see other videos like this, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, that's a wrap.